Can copper peptides replace retinol? In the skincare industry, the new buzzword is the natural botox, copper peptide. In this video, we will share a few pointers about this new ingredient that is finding a place in most popular skincare products, the copper peptide. So what's a copper peptide? A peptide is a small chain of amino acids that help in directly building up your collagen and elastin, which are the two natural proteins found in the skin. Copper peptides in particular has been found to fade away lines, to re uh, reduce open pores, and it is also known to reduce inflammation, thereby helping with conditions like rosacea, eczema, and other dry skin conditions. We have covered these skincare concerns in other videos and you can find the link to them in the screen below. So as discussed earlier, copper peptides are doing pretty much the same thing as a retinol. So how do we choose between the two? So can copper peptides really replace retinol? So they are the two important anti-aging ingredients in most skincare products. Copper peptides are doing the same thing as retinol, but they have a different mechanism of action. They are directly working on the protein molecules, the elastin and collagen, whereas retinol works more by exfoliating it. So for people who want to go the slow and steady way, copper peptides is actually a safer and more long-term solution. If they want to get anti-aging effects fast, retinol is a better option. It's a vitamin A derivative. Retinol is known to cause sensitivity and irritation in many people, thereby making copper peptides a much safer option and a great alternative to retinol for anti-aging. If you want us to do an article on whether retinol is suitable for Indian skin, do leave retinol in your comments below and we'll do a deep dive in our next section. The key difference between copper peptide and retinol is in the nature that they are derived. Copper peptides are small chains of amino acids and retinol is a vitamin A derivative. When it comes to a skin type which is suitable for both, the one thing that goes against retinol is it is not recommended to be used in damaged, sensitive skin with impaired barrier function. And this is where copper peptide actually comes in because it actually helps to regenerate the compromised barrier repair of disturbed skin. The use of copper peptide can be started much earlier than retinol, which is traditionally considered a late 35s to 40s age group for us to start. However, copper peptides, because of its preventative aging, it, it, it can be started way earlier. Coming to some combinations of copper peptide serum, a copper peptide standalone is powerful enough to give you the anti-aging benefits. Uh, it can be made more effective and powerful by combining it with hyaluronic acid. Avoid combining it with retinol or vitamin C and niacinamide, especially when you are beginning to use the serums. Here's a list of a few copper peptide serums that you can use. The IS Clinical Copper Forming Spray and the Neutriderm Copper Peptide Serum. Both of these are available at the clinically store. And the other three are Clayco Ginseng and Copper Peptide Serum, Ordinary Copper Peptide Serum and the Ravenna Derma Sciences Copper Peptide Serum along with Hyaluronic Acid. Do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get updated when the video comes out.